So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your Delta emulator is not going through and working properly. Now what does this mean? Well maybe the games aren't playing properly or there's some problem with your just application in general. This can happen for a few different reasons. The number one reason why something like this ends up happening for the most part is usually because your BIOS files aren't set up properly or there's some weird settings or ROM issues. The first thing, you want to make your way over to your settings application, just right within here. And what you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that all of your proper BIOS files and everything are set up properly within this particular application. Like I said before, if your you know, things aren't set up properly, well, that's probably going to be a problem you're going to run into. So you just want to make sure your core settings, everything like that is basically figured out, including your BIOS files. If you're trying to play DS games, you want to make sure these BIOS files are logged in, you know, set up. The other big thing is that you're going to want to make sure that you, you know, this is a first generation app for our iPhones. So it may take a little bit of time for it to get a little bit better. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, another thing you may want to try doing is just see if you can reinstall this particular application. So go ahead, delete, you know, Delta and bring it back in. That's another thing you can try doing as well. And like I said, for some people that may end up fixing it. If you're having issues with your particular ROM files, what you may want to end up trying to do is to go through and make sure that your ROM files are properly set up here as well. If for some reason your ROM files are not set up properly, that can be another problem you're going to run into as well. So you just want to make sure you have the proper files to make sure they're, you know, GBA, uh, .gb files, .gbc files, whatever you have, NDS files. You want to make sure you have the proper, you know, file set up because if you don't, that can probably cause some issues as well. So those are just a few things to kind of keep your eye out for and a few ways to kind of fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.